Greetings. I believe I'm going to start doing fashion videos. So welcome to the very first ever fashion video of the 3,000 plus videos I've done so far to date. So many categories, so many different passions that I have. Fashion is one of them, how I present myself to the world, how I put myself together as one. I don't know if it's going to include suggestions or advice, fashion advice, but definitely ideas for people to do with whatever they want and just showing how I put myself together, really. So feel free to share this. Uh, ladies, if you have guys in your life who could use some good ideas, feel free to share it. And uh, one quick word about that. Um, I care mostly about what's on the inside of a person, their personality, how we connect. I don't really care how other people dress. I just don't. I appreciate when somebody's well put together, they're looking really sharp and I'll compliment them. Hey, you look really great, man. But I don't really care how somebody dresses it's all about the connection so having said all that this is just sort of a luxury passion that i have is the sense of fashion and how i put myself together and how i admire other people who who also have a passion sense as well okay so with this piece here um when i wake up in the morning i sort of take my pulse and sometimes literally but like, what do I feel like today? What do I feel like doing with my day? What kind of activities am I going to be doing? How do I want to present myself to the world and put myself together? So then I start thinking about those things, and that's pretty much how I'm going to dress that day. And it could be anything from formal wear to formal casual to so casual that I could, I don't know, go dumpster dive. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't go dumpster diving. <laughs> But it could be athletic wear, it could be dressed down, it could be dressed up to the hilt. I've just got so many different fashion senses that uh, turn me on. I love the Baroque era and the more romantic eras of dressing up, which are a lot older and, you know, the classics. I like things that are interesting and kind of stick out um, from what everyone else is doing, so I don't like looking like everyone else, uh, even with my formal wear. Um, formal wear is a lot more strict and uh, not as loose as casual wear. But for me, I still get outside of that bubble, outside of that box and whatever the rules are for formal wear because I like to do things differently. And I like dynamics and things like that. And speaking of dynamics and how I felt today when I took my pulse, how I wanted to present myself, I've got this uh, outfit here, which is very dynamic. So let's go over it. So to start with, um, I've got on sneakers with dress pants. <laughs> I got dress shoes, but today was a sneaker day. And this can work. It takes a little bit more care if you're going to pair sneakers with formal pants. I mean, these are dress pants tailor fitted to me and fresh pressed, a strong seam, the whole nine yards. This is great formal wear. This goes really great with a formal suit and everything else. Uh, when it comes to belts for dress pants, I just go with straight up black nothing fancy here no designer belts just straight up black plain and simple tried and true and so with the sneakers there's a lot of sneakers that do not work well with pants part of it is going to be also the cut of the pants if the pants are just too long then sneakers are going to look really stupid probably no matter what kind of sneakers but uh if it just touches the top Sort of just kisses the top of the sneakers or even a little bit above the sneakers it's going to look cool in my personal opinion so that's how i've got these fitted how the pants are cut in this particular sneaker type it's a soft velvety sneaker with different shades of blue a good grayish sort of sole and laces and it just i think it looks pretty cute with this particular outfit and with these particular pants and then the top half take this coat off I'll go over that in a minute ah so this works really well without a coat in the summer months or the warmer days I don't wear a coat with it but it's uh, a bit chilly out today it is fall so I'm gonna wear that as I go out when I get to where I'm going later tonight salsa dancing when I get to the studio I will hang the coat up in a hanger and I will just be in all this now this shirt Speaking of dynamics, <laughs> this shirt is a dynamic piece unto itself without any other context. It is a button-up collared shirt made of a, a linen textured material. 
if I get super close to this, you can sort of see the texture. It's not just a flat matted type that most dress shirts are made with, and they look really nice, but this one is different. This has got some interesting texture to it. Being a collared button-up shirt, which suggests formal wear, but because of the textured patterns here, it suggests calm and cool and chill. So it's formal, but very calm and cool and chill. And because of the linen material, it also breathes easy and it just feels super comfortable. It's nice to touch, love that. And it just looks really cool. And it also goes well with these dress pants. So speaking of the dynamics of this whole ensemble, so the shirt in itself, in itself is dynamic. But when you look at the whole thing, you got the very formal dress pants and then these sneakers that go really well with it. And then you got this shirt that's a dynamic piece unto itself. So the whole thing is just this real interesting ensemble of dynamics that I really like. And instead of the necktie, I never wear neckties. They look fine on other people, but I don't like the way they look at me. So even if I'm dressed up all flat out business wear, formal wear, I got different kinds of ties that I'll go into in other videos, stuff that you've probably never seen before that looks so sharp and so like dressed up beyond dressed up. It's amazing. But uh, the necklace here, so I got hundreds of pieces of necklaces. This one I really like because it reminds me of the ocean with its color here and the way they're contrasted with the black stripe, squiggly stripe down the middle. It goes really well with this white shirt. It sort of gives the chill, cool, calm vibe here that I'm going for, that I'm feeling. I woke up this morning, I'm like this is how we feel. Sort of this dynamic formal, but dominated by calm and chill. So it's a really cool complementary ensemble in an oppositional kind of way. And then I got this uh, seashell, real conch shell, by the way, from the ocean off of uh, St. Pete's, Florida, with blue zircon stones in it. This shirt, by the way, looks great with or without this particular necklace and top few buttons undone to be dominated by the, the theme of how I feel, calm, chill, cool. But I love this necklace too, so that's what I will be accessorizing with today. And then, and then rolling the sleeves up. So it's a long sleeve shirt, but there's something about a collared button-up shirt with the sleeves rolled up. I really love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. And then this jacket here, I recently got this over the summer. Haven't really had a chance to wear it yet, so this is... Uh, I believe this is the first time I'll be wearing it out since I picked up this piece. It's gorgeous. No animals are harmed in the making of this coat. Double breasted. The material feels so good. It's definitely, even though it's leopard print, definitely under the category of formal wear for sure. And it goes really good with this outfit, so I add more dynamic to this whole thing. Um, so this is all about showing up for myself. Like I'm dressing for me, not for anybody else. People want to dress for other people. I don't know how to feel about that. You do you. But as for me, I find it's disappointing to dress for other people. So I just don't. I dress for me. And showing up for yourself in the world does something to the mindset. Not just mine, but this is true for humans in general. When you're expressing how you feel on the inside more outwardly in how you put yourself together and show up. It, uh, it does something to your headset where you just m maybe show up with more confidence, where you're just in a better headspace to deal with life and deal with people and different scenarios when things go wrong or right. You're just in a better headspace for it, so you are going to be better. It's, uh, there's a lot of studies in psychology about how dressing up and showing up for yourself really does have a positive impact over this day-to-day -day life and decisions that you make and maybe the impression that you leave on other people. Just overall, it's, uh, it goes towards good mental and emotional and psychological health, which is good for everybody if that can rub off onto other people. So that's why I like to show up for myself. It's, for me, it's part of self-expression, whether I'm playing my guitar or how I put myself together or writing one of my blog posts, anything where I'm creating something, even if it's just creating a look. 
it's all about self-expression and showing up for myself and then from there just organically connecting with other human beings based on how I'm showing up for myself you know so that's what it's about for me with uh, my fashion sense as well as just how I show up in life in general so to end this video let's get a distant shot of this or a distant video so you can see me in one frame let's see here well here I am yeah I love the way that I look this is how I'm showing up in the world when I go to when I go to dance class later I'll be doing that and maybe I'll do no I'm not gonna do this <laughs> unless it's natural Walk in there like <laughs> hanging up on a hanger. They have coat hangers there, thankfully. And uh, oh yeah, one last thing. I don't typically tuck in my shirts unless I'm going to a funeral or a wedding or or some event where it just feels like it's appropriate and I have a coat on over me. Whenever I don't have a coat on over me, no matter how formal I am, I never tuck in my shirt. I just don't like the way that I look with my shirt tucked in. And most of the time, depending on time and place, circumstance, scenario, even if I have on a sports coat or a dress coat, I will not tuck in the shirt underneath. It just, it all depends. And I'll look at myself in a full length mirror and it's like, okay, that looks right. That feels right. It, I look how I feel on the inside, I'm good to go. So it all really depends on that. That's what it boils down to, you know? So that's my look for the day and I'm, Looking forward to get out of the house, things I want to do, places to go, eventually salsa dance lessons tonight, so there might be a video that comes from tonight. We shall see. Uh, check out my timeline for past videos. There's tons of them, including some very recently from the last week. Some gorgeous, beautiful dance videos, as well as some guitar impromptu videos, too. It's pretty good stuff. Well, thanks for being here, and if you want to, drop your comments about anything. Maybe your own fashion sense, things that you like to do to present yourself to the world, how it affects your mindset. Anything you want to share, drop a comment, and I'll see you later. Bye for now. Orgasmic Pathways is my website, dot com. Orgasmic Pathways, dot com is my website. Mwah.